Welcome to Metallurgical Engineering Channel, Introduction of Heat Treatments Processes. Why is heat treatment required? During manufacturing, some materials might need to be involved in procedures that alter their grain structure. Heat treatments are a way of using controlled heating and cooling procedures to change metals' physical properties and improve them to be used in large range of industries. These heat treatments vary depending on metal type and mechanical properties that are required for the part's function. It's essential that the correct heat treatment procedures are followed to ensure the metal meets the specified strength requirements. What is heat treatment? Heat treatment is commonly used to alter or strengthen materials structure through a heating and cooling process. It offers many advantages including it can change a material's physical or mechanical properties and it aids in other manufacturing steps. It relieves stresses, making the part easier to machine or weld, increases strength, making the material ductile or more flexible, introduces wear resistance characteristics, either just to the surface or right through the part, improves brittleness, some metals can become weak or brittle once exposed to a specific environment so they need to be treated in order to overcome this can improve the electrical and magnetic properties of a metal which will improve its compatibility with other materials Annealing, normalizing, hardening, tempering and surface hardening are types of heat treatment processes <music> Annealing process. In annealing heat treatment, materials are heated up to desired temperature, which is held for a specific period of time before the material is slowly or rapidly cooled down, depending on a type of material. The process refines the grain microstructure, making it more uniform and easier to work with. It's also used to improve a material's ductility for further machining and reduces any potential stresses of casting. Annealing is often used to reduce the hardness of material as well, which helps to improve its mechanib- um, machinability. <laughs> At the current slide, you can visit annealing process. Normalizing process. Normalizing is the process of heating a material to a temperature above a critical limit and then cooling in open air. Normalizing heat treatment is a heat treating process used to provide uniformity in grain size and microstructure in some steel grades. Normalizing can also be used for cast irons to produce more uniformity, improved wear resistance, and increased hardness values. Normalized heat treatment establishes a more uniform carbide size and distribution which facilitates later heat treatment operations and produces a more uniform final product. Now you can see the difference between annealing and normalizing process. Hardening process. The use of this treatment will result in an improvement of the mechanical properties as well as an increase in a level of hardness, producing a tougher, more durable item. Alloys are heated above the critical transformation temperature for the material, then cooled rapidly enough to cause the soft initial material to transform to a much harder, stronger structure. 
Alloys may be air cooled or cooled by quenching in oil, water, or another liquid, depending upon the amount of alloying elements in the material. Hardened materials are usually tempered or stress relieved to improve their dimensional stability and toughness. <music> slide you will become familiar to effecting of quenching medium <music> tempering process Tempering is a process in which previously hardened or normalized steel is usually heated to a temperature below the lower critical temperature and cooled at suitable rate to increase ductility and toughness but also to increase the grain size of the matrix. Steels are tempered by reheating after hardening to obtain specific values of mechanical properties and also to relieve quenching stresses and to ensure dimensional stability. Tempering usually follows quenching from above the upper critical temperature. However, tempering is also used to relieve the stresses and reduce the hardness developed during welding and to relieve stresses included by forming and machining. <music> Now you can see tempering process. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Keep watching, like, share, subscribe our channel.